hello guys now we are going to see what is google cloud composer we know the airflow so this is the is we are going to use cloud versions here so google cloud composer is a fully managed workflow orchestration service that help us programmatically author schedule and monitor workflows same like what we did in the data flow we get the data from the source and do with the data flow data flow and uh, do the some processing then push in the bigquery then use for the analytics same like this we are going to use here but we are using apache airflow with the, uh, programmatically we can add whatever we want inside the workflow and the, um, keep the data in the warehouse okay so it is built on apache airflow a popular open source workflow orchestration platform the features available in the airflow cloud composer is is a web-based user interface the cloud composer web ui allow us to create schedule monitor our workflows it can uh, use with command line interface it's allow to interact cloud composer with command line then we can use the python api so the cloud composer python api allow you to programmatically interact with cloud composer with our python code so we can add we can use the existing uh, uh, flow to load the data if we need any changes inside the uh, workflow pipeline we can add using our custom plugin or coding python coding so we if you need to support for the apache airflow cloud composer supports apache airflow a popular open source workflow orchestration platform we can inter integrate with other platform also so the cloud composer is integrated with google cloud platform so easily connected with workflow with other gcp service cloud composer is a good choice for the business that need to programmatically author schedule and monitor workflow is easy to use and is flexible and power and also cost effectiveness the infrastructure ways is all in the cloud so we no need to worry about the infrastructure overall the google cloud compose is a powerful and versatile tool that can be used to orchestrate workflow so we know the same workflow we are used with the google data flow and uh, google data flow previously so we are doing same like in the cloud compose what is the difference between cloud google cloud composer and data flow so here i see in the sheet the same like this path we can use in the um, apache airflow cloud composer to load the data into the big uh, big query and uh, uh, do whatever we want as a look at data studio in the big uh, big query ml we can do any output using this data so cloud composer we know is a workflow orchestration service that allow us to programmatically author schedules and monitor the workflow is open source and, and the um, data flow is a fully managed scalable and fault tolerant service for batching and streaming data processing it's built on apache beam the the cloud composer is built with apache airflow is built with apache beam so data flow is a good choice for business that need to process a large amount of data and reliable and scalable okay the difference between both and by the service 
Cloud Composer is a workflow orchestration service. Data Flow is a data processing service. Cloud Composer build on Apache Airflow, as I said before. Data workflow, data flow build on Apache Beam. In the use cases, consider in the Cloud Composer as programmatically we can do schedule and monitor workflow. In the data flow, we can process large amount of data in reliable and scalable way. When you see data composer is easy to use, flexible, cost effectiveness. If we see if we see the data flow, scalable, fault tolerance, and batching and streaming processing. One of the uh, disadvantage in the cloud composer is it's not powerful as data flow for data processing and also scan or scaling. In the, in the disadvantage in the data flow is, is we cannot uh, use uh, uh, data flow easy like Cloud Composer. So these are the points with the difference between Cloud Composer and data flow. Now we know about what is the Cloud Composer where we will use this workflow to push the data uh, in our data warehouse and we can use for analytics and reporting purpose. Okay, thank you.